Welcome back to AT News. Time once again for a weekly visit to the Dubois County Humane Society on Wardens and Road here in Jasper. And joining us this week is Brenda Nykum. And uh, Brenda, first of all, we have Easter. I knew it was named after a holiday. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Easter, yeah. uh, of course, is uh, a mother of four. However, she has decided to take in one extra. Yes, we, we uh, got a call from the factory over at Huntingburg, and uh, they had found a stray cat, and uh, she actually has been in the factory for a while. And they asked us to come over and get her, and before we could get her, she did have uh, a kitten. I think she had more than one, but the others were uh, unable to find and probably deceased. But uh, we were able to save the one, and she, Easter has graciously adopted him. He is just such a sweetie. She didn't even think twice about taking him on. Which is with the, the yeah, right here. that's right this here? little okay, guy right here. Yeah, he's got white on it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in any case, it uh, doesn't always happen that way. Uh, sometimes they reject them if they're not theirs. But uh, she was they, right at the same age. She had just birthed herself, so it was uh, uh, a good fit on the age. So we were able to get her to. Uh, accept it so uh, he, we saved one and we actually saved the mother also but she's uh, at my farm now and uh, just living life like <laughs> kitties are supposed to live we have uh, uh, really a nice variety of kittens available uh, upwards of 30 35 uh, out in foster uh, if you uh, would like to uh, view them online they're coming up one litter at a time on the uh, website and Facebook so that you can uh, check in and see who's available and uh, never fear if you don't see the color or the the uh, sex or age that you want uh, there will be some more coming up so uh, we had a couple of families come in last week and they were kind of haggling over the same kitten and I said oh please folks I said there's some more coming and I said I'm sure that that color is available so if you uh, kittens kittens and cats are a little different than dogs with their personality they're they're kind of their own thing and they are easier to take care of um, it's a great first pet for responsibility uh, issues with your children uh, they uh, can uh, wait until you uh, have a chance to clean them up it's not like a dog or a puppy where you have to have uh, have to do it right away so mm -hmm. uh, it's a like I said a great first pet uh, doesn't require a lot of food um, expense things like that uh, just a matter of uh, giving them a safe place to uh, house uh, and also to play and they are great they're great companions they really are they do shed and every animal sheds the more you brush them the less they shed <coughs> so the attention that you give them is well worth the uh, effort as far as that goes but yes I have three litters at my house they were uh, uh, we tried to find fosters for all of them so that no one was turned away basically uh, we've had a few calls, people coming in that have them at their house, and they are. we are uh, going to try to help them out as well. We take photographs of them and uh, help them post them so that uh, people know they are available out there other than just a free kitty ad. These kittens will be $20, and they will have uh, first shots, most likely the second shot, and also be tested for HIV and they will have a microchip and that is all for twenty dollars it is a excellent deal less than half price uh, for you to get a cat completely vetted and microchipped uh, would be closer in the up range of seventy five to a hundred dollars but we are able to do it with a uh, donations from generous folks that want us to uh, make sure that we get these kitties some homes we're actually taking a discount hit on them so that they can they can get adopted out, but they are, uh, of course, great, like I said, first-time pets, and uh, Easter has been uh, excellent to show you her brood today. She just really is calm and, and really, I told, gave her a little talking to before the show, so <laughs> she's, she's listening well. But, a little bit of a pet talk. Oh, they are. They are just a joy, but, but uh, come out and see us. We do have a few events coming up, Carrie, with the... Right. Uh, one thing we want to go over is, um, first of all, uh, as far as a past event, was a recent uh, garage sale um, that you took part in yeah, was very Betty, successful. Betty Bobu was uh, excellent. Uh, just really, I don't know how she does it, to tell you the truth. It would be all I could handle. Mm -hmm. And uh, was uh, had tremendous donations, and we also had a tremendous turnout, even though there was one rain day. So uh, netted a little over $1,500, $1,600 in that and that's a fantastic. We like to uh, really thank the public for coming out and participating both with donations and participating in the actual purchases 
uh, just really helps our our kitty fund here, quote unquote, <laughs> our kitty. And uh, just it does its donations are definitely a uh, a lifesaver for us because that's uh, what we rely on. We don't have any uh, county or city funding, right. so we strictly rely on donations and grants and and uh, things like that. But uh, you got just a few to, other things coming up. Uh, yeah, and a cough scramble. Yes, t-shirts are available online. They are a. Uh, uh, several colors cornflower blue and the green and then also the uh, red ones i think are available but uh, just check online and you can get a t-shirt and uh, order one up or uh, jasper locally uh, embroidery and also screen printing is doing our our t-shirts they have the logo there and we are uh, uh, there's we've had a lot of requests for them so that's a great thing yeah. that people want to want to wear them out in public and and just basically uh, awareness make people more uh, awareness for donations and everything that's going on at the Humane Society because even if you can't come out and donate your time here there are so many things you can do and that's one of the things you can do we do have a golf outing coming up mm -hmm. uh, it's always been a s real success in the past and uh, I believe there be, will be the uh, what is it the hole in one that's yeah, there's hole in one contest yes yes do. that's always a big big uh, drawing card so Please uh, keep your eyes posted on the uh, internet or for our website and also the Facebook. And uh, we love hearing back from our previous adopters. That is some of our best advertising. So uh, did have an owner reclaim this morning over the weekend. We had a little chihuahua that was got away from his family. And uh, that's one thing that we pride ourselves on and also the microchipping. Uh, Andrea has all the stats, but we are, I know for the month of April for spay and neuter, we had over 115 animals that went to Pets Alive with the uh, uh, kittens, kitty special. So uh, just a few things that take place here, like I said. And if you can't come out, you can always donate cash, money. We need supplies. That's always There's always a list of supplies that we can use. And uh, just keep us in mind for kitties. If there's any, any uh, anyone in your family that's looking or there's one in particular color that that reminds you of one you had as a child or uh, please come out and give us a look because they are uh, fully vetted and very reasonably priced and a great first starter pet so excellent and of course um, well, I don't know if you can hear in the background but uh, we're getting pounded that's how the uh, Monday afternoon thunderstorm from yesterday as we record this Monday afternoon but uh, everybody's safe in here nonetheless I tell you what information about uh, Easter her, her litter and all the other uh, animals available for adoption here at the Dubois County Humane Society can be found on their website at DuboisCountyHumane.org, also PetFinder.com, and also always remember to uh, check out their Facebook page and also to check out these videos and f this video and future videos. You can go to our website at ATWJTS.TV as well as our Facebook page to check out the future videos. Always, please, always keep that in mind. Now, of course, um, you know. Their phone number here at uh, Wernsley Road in Jasper is 812-482-7387. Their adoption hours are Mon uh, excuse me, Wednesdays from 4.30 till 6.30 p.m. Saturdays from 1 until 3 p.m. And uh, please feel free to ch uh, come out here, check them out, see what's available, and please seriously consider taking one of these fine animals home for us, okay? All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. Thank you, Brenda, for joining us. Thank you, Carrie. You bet. Thank you, Daniel, for watching. Weather's next.